We know that every single word in the Bible is inspired by God, as well as the order in which those words are positioned. The Jews teach that there are 70 layers, 70 layers of meaning in every single Bible passage. It's not difficult to understand level one, usually. Level two we can often reach, and we may even get a glimpse of level three. But the other 67 layers of meaning await the coming of the Messiah Jesus. In his light we shall see all light. And those 67, those full 70 layers of meaning will come clear to us. Now I was reading that well-known passage in Mark chapter 12 verse 28 following, where one of the scribes comes to Jesus and asks him, what was the greatest or first commandment? Jesus answered, and it's an interesting answer, the first is, he said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. And that day, the scribe won the bonus prize because Jesus followed it up with a definition of the second greatest commandment. But what struck me about this was the strangeness of Jesus' answer. Surely he should have said, the greatest commandment is, you shall love the Lord your God with everything, and so on and so on. But he doesn't. He begins, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. Yes, the first commandment is total love for God. Of course it is. But this is dependent upon our hearing God first. When God speaks and we hear, our love is aroused. It's a very mysterious operation, the stirring of love. And when our love is stirred, we gratefully confess our love for him, knowing that it only became possible because he first spoke to us and caused us to hear his voice. It was a pure act of loving grace. Therefore, Jesus said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. And then there is this commandment. You know, God's voice goes forth every day into the world and thousands every day hear it and love is aroused in their hearts. Isn't that a wonderful thing? We are called God's called people. He calls us. And finally, what is it that we hear? We hear that God is one. It goes like this in Hebrew. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad, and Echad means one. Adonai Echad, the Lord is one. But we'll leave that for another video.